Well, I think it's previous work has made clear that solar engineering can't substitute for emissions cuts. But I think a lot of work has focused on this question of whether it would be perfect or not. If you offset all warming, you introduce a, a set of problems that does not reverse all the effects of climate change, it introduces some new changes. I think increasingly going forward, people should look at scenarios where, ask, which ask the question, if we did some solar engineering, would this help to reduce the risk of climate change? Um, and our results suggest that it could, um, and suggest potentially that the, that the um, regional outcomes wouldn't, wouldn't be that bad. Um, I mean, I think one of the assumptions many people have made is that with solar engineering, there'd be inevitably winners and losers. And I think our paper sort of challenges that hypothesis um, because we know that certain risks would certainly be reduced, temperature, extreme temperature, uh, sea level rise, which we don't simulate. Um, but we show that if you don't go too far, you can reverse hydrological changes in many places without introducing much, uh, without f with few places seeing an exacerbation of those changes.